This is what NASA's Perseverance rover looks like, but to understand what it's going to do when it lands on the red planet, you've got to see it up close. Let me bring it into our studio. Now, rover's the size of a car. It's 10 feet long, it's 9 feet wide, and it's 7 feet tall. And this extension here, it's called a turret. It's the head of the robotic arm. I want to focus on this piece and move the rover out of the way. There are two things you need to see here. This is the drill. And then this part is the Sherlock and Watson. Watson is the name of the camera, but Sherlock is an acronym. It stands for Scanning Habitable Environments with Raymond and Luminescence for Organics and Chemicals. I know, it's a lot, but basically, this piece uses a laser to dissect minerals, searching for organic compounds, or said another way, it's searching for life. Now, I'm turning the rover to show you my favorite part of the vehicle. This is Meta and Moxie, more acronyms, I know. META stands for Mars Environment Dynamics Analyzer. That's a really fancy way of saying it's a weather station, but it's vital. The information gathered from META will help scientists create accurate weather predictions on Mars, keeping future astronauts safe. MOXIE is the Mars Oxygen Issue Experiment. MOXIE will be conducting experiments trying to create oxygen on the planet. Now this is awesome. This is Ingenuity. It's a four pound robotic helicopter that will travel in the belly of the rover. It'll be the first aircraft to ever fly on another planet. And it isn't easy to do. The atmosphere is extremely thin. It's 1% as thick as our planet, making it difficult to generate lift. The rover is expected to land February 18th of next year. And that's when all of these experiments begin.